with a ship full of Elamite sand. It took us about 11 days to travel from Senegal to Norway. But this last leg of our trip wasn't going to disappoint. It was going to be a 12-hour pilotage through one of the Norwegian fjords to our berth. By definition, a fjord is a long, narrow inlet with steep sides or cliffs created by a glacier. And we would be going down the Hardanger Fjord. Transiting down a fjord is any sailor's dream. You couldn't ask for better views. Unfortunately, as luck may have it, we would be transiting during a rainstorm. Visibility was crappy. As we made our way down the fjord, even through the storm, we were able to make out a couple villages along the water's edge. even saw several waterfalls. The deeper we traveled in the fjord, the grander the views got. Unfortunately, by the time we got to the narrow part of the fjord, the sun had already set. It was completely dark, couldn't see anything. But waking up next morning, what we saw was nothing short of spectacular. So, being in Valdez, Alaska, I thought that was the most beautiful place I've ever been to, but the fjords in Norway, god damn, god damn, man, I, I wish it didn't rain coming in here last night because it was all foggy and dark and you couldn't really see anything, but waking up to this, <laughs> what? Best job in the world, baby. Best job in the world.
That morning, the crane operators came on board and started discharging the cargo. Everything was coming off. We were gonna empty all the holds. And Norway being such a magical place, one of the crane operators, Guta, insisted on taking Jeff and I over to an American car show. You know, we were so thrown back by how hospitable and kind Guta was. When we asked him about it, his response was simple. He said, it's nice to be nice. And you know what? The car show was a great time. Thanks, Guta. Hope you're doing well, buddy. This, this is the coolest car at the show, right here. Oh, yeah. Brings back memories. Oh, yeah. <laughs> After the car show, Guta dropped us off in town, and Jeff and I spent the rest of the day exploring Oda. And let me just tell you, we had a lovely afternoon. I would stay away from the salted licorice though. Oda was a great little town, and Norway is quickly becoming one of my favorite places. That morning, it was business as usual. Cargo operations were going on. Actually, They've been going on all night. And to be honest, I don't know how much they did or how much is left to go or when operations are going to be complete and the ship's going to be ready to go. I had no idea. I was on gangway watch and my mind was wandering. But I was so mesmerized by my surroundings, finding myself just staring off at these mountaintops. Thoughts wandering. I couldn't help but think how poetic it was. But after 130 days, this epic voyage would finally be coming to an end. It's such an epic place. I was finally going home. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to support the channel, please consider liking, subscribing, or sharing the video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.